Hello Flame community. If you are a Flame and Synthize user, then get ready for an update that's certain to streamline the way you work. This is Jeff Kyle from Logic.tv, and I've partnered up with Boris FX to talk to you about the brand new Synthize release, version 2024.5, and what it means to be integrated with Flame. It all starts inside of Synthize. Under Scripts, Flame, Integrate with Flame, a box appears and you can set up some paths and tokens to help stay organized, but once you set that up or leave it on the defaults, you can hit OK, and then the next time you launch Flame or the next time you rescan your Python hooks, the Synthize integration is a go. Just note that this only works with Flame 2025.0.1, the first service pack for Flame 2025. But once you're up and running on that version, let's take a look at how this all works. Inside of Batch, you can right-click on a clip, select Send to Synthize, and then you're met with a dialog box that lets you know that Synthize has been opened. So if I Alt-Tab over, I can see that the shot has been loaded and we're ready to go. I'll do a quick auto-solve, and then let's say we're ready to send this over to Flame. Because Synthize knows we're working with Flame, the Export Again feature, keyboard shortcut Shift-X, will initiate the brand new Flame 2025 Plus export option. This is what the settings for that export look like, but for now, we'll just leave it on the defaults and hit OK. I'll Alt-Tab back into Flame, right-click on our clip, select Receive from Synthize, and immediately we're met with an action node and the data is automatically loaded in with everything set up for us. No manual importing, no navigating through file browsers, it's just that simple. If you need to change something about the track, maybe you want to make it a little better and give it some more love, we can just Alt-Tab back into Synthize, I'll go to Track, Clean Up Trackers, and select these settings, and hit Fix. I'll switch this to Refine and resolve the track. I'll right-click on this view, Creation Object, Plane, drag out my plane, and we'll call that good for now. I'll use the Shift-X keyboard shortcut once again to export, hit OK, and our data is out. I'll Alt-Tab back into Flame, right-click on the clip, Receive from Synthize, and our track has been updated. Jumping into action, notice the axes are a little different, our camera's a little better, and our geometry is loaded. There's just one more thing we'll be covering here, and that's lens distortion. I'll switch to this second shot here, and we'll go through the process from scratch. Right-click, send the synthize. I'll Alt-Tab and close my other project and head into my newly created synthize project for this shot. I'll do an auto-solve. That's looking good. I'll head down to the lens distortion section and click on this More button. I'll calculate a few of these lens distortion parameters and close the menu. I'll head up here, set this to refine and refine the track. And we're ready to export, so I'll hit our Shift-X keyboard shortcut, hit OK, Alt-Tab back into Flame. I'll right-click on our shot, receive from Synthize, and there we have it. The lens distortion data is loaded, our camera track is in, and we are all set up. This was a super quick look at some of the new Synthize and Flame integration with the new Synthize version 2024.5. If you're interested in a deeper dive into some of the settings, a more thorough explanation about what we covered here, and some other tools new to the update, then check out my longer video over on the Logic.tv YouTube page, which is up on the screen right now. If you have any questions, concerns, or feedback, feel free to continue the conversation over on the BorisFX Discord page and the BorisFX forums. And if you want to pick my brain, you can find me over on the Logic Discord and the Logic Forums. Otherwise, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful for you. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next tutorial.